That's the thing. How do you... I don't even know how you change... How do you change skin? Vehicle skins. I do that. But yeah, as soon as you get Slayer Band, Deadshot, Flopper, you're fine. Even the grenade launcher. Get the grenade launcher, pack a punch here, get Flopper, you're fine. Anything just surround you, look at Flo and blow them up, because since Flopper, you don't get hit by explosive damage. And the best thing to do. The best contracts to use, well, best contracts to have to do is the delivery one and um, the bounties because they they don't take as long to do. Heads up and stay sharp, EZ's on friendly territory. Right. Let's go. And then like me, if you got if you find crystals you can start with a pack a punch weapon straight away. Because I only need to get a couple of kills and then I'm fine. But I haven't spawned anywhere near hit a contract. Decent anyway. But even that, I need... Uh, I'm, I'm going to go to this bandit camp. Mercenary camp, sorry. Let's move. Keep forgetting. Keep calling it bandit camp, I don't know why. No, I just need a vehicle. There's only a vehicle all the way down here. It really hasn't been kind to me, this game. There's barely any contracts near me. This guy's going for that vehicle, isn't he? He is. He's going for that vehicle. He is. And if you need element, if you need element on your weapons, element upgrades, uh, the best things to do is these, do the infested buildings, because you're guaranteed to get at least one element upgrade on your weapon. There's the 300 kills for this, now I just need to pack a punch, Barry's magnum. If you need a max ammo, when you do these, it always spawns a max ammo. Max ammo. There you go. Shatter blast, dead wire, or brain rot. The only problem now, though, is that I can't drop either of these weapons. I have to play with these weapons. Because if I drop them. It will automatically cancel out my insured slot. I like how you think I'll even survive. Yeah, it's alright, everyone. Play at your own pace. I might as well just keep running around with pack weapon. There's no point in me using good old Barry's Magnum. There's no point in doing that. And cash registers. If you find cash registers, you want to keep opening them because you get points. It's 
better than nothing. It's kind of like the worst ma This is genuinely like, I literally spawned nowhere near contracts. Because that's another thing as well. Moving you... this way. Oh, here. Um, if you need Objective a level located. 2 vest, go to a bandit camp, mercenary camp. Or if you want a level 3 vest, if you want a level 3 vest, go to a bandit camp. Like, why do I keep calling it a bandit camp? Pretty much the same thing. Mercenary camp. <sighs> this car's gonna... This car's on top of prison. Alright, it looks like I'm, be go I'm gonna run it. I'm gonna be running there, because... This is generally like the worst. I'll do the delivery cargo. Deliver cargo contract since here. It's kind of close. But yeah, the things you want to do is the cargo delivery. And then the the bounty ones because they don't take long. Plus with the with the delivery cargo ones, it's literally it doesn't take long. You just need to drive a vehicle to a point. That's it. And then you accidentally go the wrong way. That's what you want to do. The mercs are moving arms near you in a lone vehicle. Commandeer it. And it acts, and it always spawns. It always spawns mercenaries. Get that garage opened up. We don't want to hang around. Easy peasy. And then, when you do these contracts, you want to hope the game's feeling nice and generous that it gives you. I don't want to stress you out, bro. But the mercs have scrambled a bloody helicopter. It gives you a perk, or it gives you a crystal, so then you can pack a punch your weapon. And make sure you've got like extremely good driving speed. That's another thing we have got to do. Oh, there we go. For me, it actually, it actually gave me a crystal. So now, since I've got this crystal, I'll get us there. I might even escort ACB contract spot. I'll do this escort. Fucking hell! No. Any problem though with uh, Barry's Magnum? For some reason, they haven't made it so you gain double ammo when you pack a punch it. You see gas coming from Stronghold. It is emitted by cysts. Proceed. Or should I do this? Should I do this? Or should I do this? Because there's people right there at this mercenary camp. I don't know if they're going to be good for that.
Bounty hunt contract Let's available. Risk it. Let's risk it for a biscuit. But yeah, like I say, Kitty, the only thing you need is literally get dead shot, sleight of hand, juggernaut if you want to get that, and then literally just happy sailing. You can literally use any gun that you want to use. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. It also doesn't help that using squad fit only groups you with people that just leave you. Yeah. They've gone for that contract, they have. You son of a bitch. Came all this way for nothing. Not really for nothing since I can go in this mercenary camp and get a level two first. But yeah, every time you, every time you do a mercenary camp, you are guaranteed to get a level two vest. That's before the, if you can find the actual case. Because then, when you, is it? Yeah, this is it. You always get a level two vest from a mercenary camp, and then if you want a mer if you want a, a tier three, you've got to do the stronghold, and then you get a tier three vest. Time to go. It's always guaranteed. Always, always, always guaranteed. Still can't believe there's not anything around me. It's crazy. Moving this way. Uh, let's do. Let's do this at oh, last class. Class. Vanity uh, since gets you a couple of kills as well. Yeah, clearly wants to jump in my car. Yeah. Also, another thing: if you ex if you go down, if you die, and then you plead for help, it won't. For some reason, they've made it so it only appears for people that are close to you. If the close to you appear on their screen, but if if no one's near you, it doesn't. But, like that person just said that they need help, they haven't said where they are, so... Because it's going to be kind of hard to find them, unless if it's this person here, because they're not moving. Pick either this person here. Sacrifice Even these missions can be. These missions don't really take long either. The P and D will destroy these phase crystals. Monitoring while it works. Enemies approaching. Dispatch them back to whatever hell they came from. It's the only problem with Barry's Magnum. I don't know why they haven't made it so it gains double ammo when it's packed punched. And if you get extremely lucky, like, and I mean extremely lucky, when it drops a double points and you're in a mission, and if you're just about to beat the mission, pick up the double points before the mission ends, because then you will get, you actually get double, you get double points from the mission, which is obviously a good thing. Oh. <laughs> and the Molotovs 
Molotovs and the thermal grenades, like, I personally say that they're, they're the best thing on the game, the best equipment to use. Especially if you've got Flopper. If you've got Flopper, it is because of the fact you don't take damage from fire. Awesome. <laughs> now that I know what these crystals do and in such They've been very nice today. Happy they are neutralized. So look with Deadshot though, if you've got Deadshot and you're playing on pad. If you're playing on pad, well control sorry. It automatically aims to the head. Look, it automatically aims to the head. And it gives you more damage headshot, or it gives you more critical damage. Because that's why I say you literally, you only need that person still there. Oh, it looks like they left. Um, Bounty hunt contract available. And then, when you get dead shot. I'm sorry, I love with the keyboard and mask. Oh. You could plug, you could plug in a pad into your back PC. You could do that. But it's, well, you're not really out of luck because um, also dead shot. When you're using a sniper, you don't have to hold your breath. It's automatically, it's automatically steady. You don't have to hold your breath. You don't have one. I bet. Wow. Run to cheese up. I bet it's a nightmare, innit? When you... I bet it's a nightmare uh, driving around with keyboard and mouse. Well, not really. I think I just answered this for you. <laughs> oh, level 2 backpack. Thank you. Yeah, not that bad. Yeah. <laughs> just that <laughs> But yeah, you want to try. If the game is feeling nice, you mainly want to save your points for pack a punching. And then if the game's feeling nice with uh, when you complete a mission and it gives you a perk, that's how you kind of want to get your perks. Unless, but it's like. It does take its time when you find the schematics and whatnot. It's like I find the dead schematic, but I've already got it. I think. I keep forgetting which ones I've not got. But every time you load into a game, well, it's just it's got a cool down of three hours. Each perk got each perk is three hours cool down. And what I try and do when I play a game. Since I've used my pack of punch crystals on these weapons, I try and find another crystal within this game. So then when I deploy again, I've got a crystal. So I can just immediately pack a punch my weapon. Where, where's this? Oh, oh. I've never been in here before. Dead shot's your best friend. Genuinely. So that's why I say it's, it's the best perk on the game. Especially when you're going up against mercenaries. Because it's, it's literally one shot to the face and they're dead.
But it does give you a little bit of a bonus as well, I forgot. Because when you get dead shot, it also makes it so your reticle's smaller as well. But the biggest advantage is that you, if you're using pads, it automatically, as soon as you press aim, it goes to the head. I'm surprised they've kept it this strong. Because it didn't used to be this strong, like the aiming a bit, because it only used to give you headshot damage. It makes it so your reticle is smaller when you're blind firing, but since Cold War, they made it so dead shots like a god tier perk. At my point, I think the best thing I can do is find someone that is has time just to play and find some extra security. <laughs> well, yeah, you did say that like a couple of things ago. Really. But yeah, it's a shame you're obviously not playing right now because obviously since I'm playing. We've talked about that. But my, my, but the, the only problem that I've got though is that I'm, I'm like very fast. I don't like waiting around, especially when you're on a timer. Oh, it's an invested camp, no wonder. I've seen before. Stronghold is filled with fish to release toxic ether gas. And also, um, you want to. What was I going to say? I'm just playing fire. I'm generally just brain fired. I say this is only the decent thing about Boris Magnum is the fact it's got really good penetration. It can hit. Like loads of zombies at once with one shot. But the only problem is it's just got no ammo. Wow, I should say en enough bullets in the clip. But yeah, like I say, if you. Oh. If you obviously want to this and then obviously best thing to do is just just keep practicing just keep playing but it's like say yeah, if you find someone that obviously knows what they're doing kind of like you know me um you'll be fine is it me or is it keep spawning zombies on that roof Zomb the zombies just looks like they just keep spawning I've just accidentally just found an infinite spawn. Where is this last sit? What are you doing? Do not charge into toxic environment without protection. Who trained you? There's no, it's fine, mate. Thank you, equipment and gear before you return. I swear you weren't going to make it. But here you are. Kudos. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it. Did it. Oh, it's there.
But for some reason though, when you do big buildings, um, when you do big infest buildings, um, for some reason max ammo just spawns somewhere that you can't, you can hear it, but you just can't pick it up, you can't find it. Same with all chests, can't find my chests on, huh? Oh, what also doesn't help is I'm a low level. I don't know if... To... On zombies, definitely on zombies. Oh, slab and tech slab and I'll take this just in case. Since oh, we've got another one. Uh, since I've got two, I'll take two gurches because the also the best uh, tactical that you want is is the decoy grenades. The decoy grenades are the best thing on the game. But if you get, if you somehow get lucky like me and you find two Gurches, they are even better. Nothing. Oh yeah. Well, it's not really like we. Got eyes on an enemy stronghold. To be f it's like even to be fair, we you don't really need to be a certain level really. On especially on zombies, because it's like. You base that's the high, the whole point. You get you play the game, you get used to it, and then you start leveling up, and then you use your weapons. Because then nine out of ten, if you need a weapon, you can just find Time one, or you can just use your insur your insurance. But like I say, you can literally. This is why I say. Oh, wait, um, any gun on this game is good. Genuinely, like any every gun on this game is the best gun on the game. As soon as you get a, a pack a punch weapon, you're fine, and then you just work your way. As soon as you get ten thousand points, like I do, you go you go into tier two, tier two get your pack a punch weapon to tier two, and then vice versa. Get fifteen thousand. Go to Fletcher's outfit at a stronghold. Um, didn't you? Expect increased enemy movement in your AO. And you're secured. Expect significant resistance. Oh. Oh. Because that's why. The thermal grenades are the best thing on the game. It's because when you come up against riot shield people, just throw it at the shield and then, then they drop it. But yeah, if you, being like weapon level up, that, that doesn't really matter. It really doesn't. Because you can literally start off with. You, you literally start off with nothing anyway. So it's like, as soon as you get a weapon, you're fine. And it's like, you can literally kill a mercenary, literally kill a mercenary and pick up their gun. They can be what, like a top tier weapon. Seems like Fletcher's been improving response times. Here they come. Joe stopped. Why's the Joe stopped? Oh, got to be where this race. So, oh, right. I always thought you didn't have to be in the area, but you do. <laughs> and that's another thing. You want to do the dailies. That's another thing. Do the dailies because you do get quite a lot of XP for doing it. But this is the only thing that I don't like, is that 
people when you do it to fly it people can literally just come in and then just nick all your stuff deadbolt actual to strike team locate and recover dr jansen no diversions up and then the you don't want to be near the area when you've unlocked the missions where is it it's over there for some reason for this lot this is the that's the first mission when you do the chapter Good one stuff. You do the all the ch challenge act one challenges. You unlock the missions, so it's like with this one. That's you, for that one. You go and get the scientist. But that dude just took that bastard. <laughs> This game's not being nice today, but for some reason they've made it so if I'm within this area, when this person gets in the chopper, if I'm literally around here, it will automatically take me with them. I'll get a Which the ob obviously that it that needs to be patched because. Luckily, it's only happened once, like. Have eyes on a pack a punch. But if you're within the in the area, it takes you with them, which is a bit of a pain. Also the orbs, uh, oh, um, there's no point in shooting the orbs, it really isn't. They, I think they need to act, I think, I personally think they need to change them. They need to make it so it actually gives you different, decent stuff because it's like you're basically just wasting time just shooting at it. Pretty sure before. On Cold War, I'm certain it used to give you. When you destroyed the orb on Outbreak, I'm certain it, it used to give you a crystal. But well, I shouldn't say crystal. It used to give you an orange variant, which is obviously, I mean, orange purple. So. So now, since I've got the tier 2, I'll be able to run around now in the tier 2 zone. They run around with this weapon. Or it's just a perfect. It just, just hasn't got enough ammo. That's way we have different because I'm playing with, with a friend. I shoot, I shoot the old whilst they do normal missions so it doesn't waste it any extra time. <laughs> <laughs> So obviously then I've basically just said what you're doing is a waste of time. <laughs> Sorry. Bounty hunt contract available. I've marked one of the Dark Ether's top brass. Wanted, dead or alive? No, dead, really. Oh, 
But since we're in the air anyway, they are better than that's me. I really don't waste time on it. They waste any time. Yeah, I'd say yeah. Obviously, if you're comfortable doing that, then it's up to you into it. Do you want to be? You're, if you at least you enjoy doing it, then it's like you want to do that. So. I'll get us there. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna use that. That's a waste. It's, it kind of feels like a waste. It's, I'm only ten. I've only got ten minutes left of this game. Actually, like, so I'll just use it for this. Might as well. Um. I need some kills. I need to start getting some kills. So I'll do this. Eyes on raid weapon stash contract. Time to go. Let's go. But yeah, I still personally think they need to make it so the orb gives you more stuff. Because the orb on this, it only gives you points and it like drops like what? A weapon and then it's like and if at all I'm out of fuel it's a good job these spawn pretty close which would be over there Suggest there's a mother load of terminus weapons in your AO. I want the matter to our What am I sending to? Hunker down to hold that cash. Oh. Ready up for a gunfight. Okay, the radius of that was insane. I'm just gonna slap this down because Ryan Sentry! Heads up, Deadpool. You've got shamblers inbound your position. So the sentry gun will tell me if they're coming from that door. It really is a shame <laughs> you can't you don't use that because like I say if if you're a beginner on zombies like the one thing I'll just say is right get dead shot you're literally get dead shot and you're fine why the gate device is so good because it, it's a black hole it's a shame it just takes its time I'm dead, 
doesn't help that I'm using Barry's Magnum because it takes so long to reload. Well, it doesn't take any just because it's taken on bullets to split. Well done. Same problem. It's such a good weapon. Time to collect your winnings. Yeah, and if you need a weapon, just do the weapon stashes and then you get a weapon. There you go. I just find the control too expensive as a PC only player. Yeah. Oh, it's not really, to be fair, because I be because the best controller that you can literally get is like, just get an Xbox controller because of the fact of um. Eyes on raid weapons. Since as soon as you plug in the Xbox controller, it automatically puts itself up. It basically sets itself up. Because even you can even get like you can generally get like uh, Xbox controllers, even Xbox Series S controllers for like twenty quid, twenty five quid. It's not too bad. Oh yeah, I need. Ooh, oh, I like this. If I wasn't using my, if I wasn't using this, could have got that melee weapon and used it. I'm going to say it's spawn spawning the zits. I am the type of player that when people say, oh, this weapon is top tier, use this in zombies, it's like, no, because zombies, every gun's top tier. But I do personally think, though, if this Magnum, if it had 12, if it had more points when you pack a punch to it, because this Magnum is insane. I should say Barry's Magnum. I like calling it Barry's Magnum because it looks like Barry's Mag. killed that I have actually killed over 300 zombies within this game with this mag with this with Barry's Magnum there's no way Bonus points. also I call it Barry's Magnum because it's like Barry's Magnum from you know Barry good old Barry Burton from Resident Evil Good old Barry. I enjoy the crossword, but it's used before pack. Nice work. And one less point of resupply for our enemy. Ooh, slap band, I'll take that. Definitely saving that for the next game. 
since the game's nearly finished. But yeah, I'm very surprised I got the. F how the There's no way that I got 300 kills with Barry's Magnum this game. There's no ch no way. How the hell did I get 300 kills with this this game? There's no way. Tap the punch. Also, a lot of people don't know this neither as well. When you, when you, the cysts actually count towards kills. So it's like now, where's 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 the max ammo? Like, oh, it's there. Good area. Max ammo. Right, electronics are going absolutely <laughs> mental. mental. Absolute mental. Whoa, the gas is right there. Vehicle here. And I've got no vehicle. Again. I start off in the same place. There's no vehicle. Strike team. Dobbs is seeing hostile armor near your location. Where? I don't even know if I'd make it. I don't even know if I'll even make it to this expo point before I call it in. I might need to go to a different one. I might need to go to this one. Because this truck's my truck that I had earlier. This is the one I made before. This tank on the fuel. I'll get us there. Is he getting in? I'm on your side. What's your fire? Or is he trying to kill these people? I think he's trying to kill these mercenaries. Oh, she's trying to kill him. It's a shame. Take this gas mask, though. Whoa, I'm definitely not getting it now. <laughs> I'm picking everybody up. Oh dear. Changing back. Time to grow. Even this car's a bit. Uh, 
up, don't run through it, run round. Person's running the wrong way. Oh, he's going for that. She's going for that truck. He's going for that buggy. So that means he's just going to drive off. He's not going to pick me up. He's going to drive off. Oh, there you go. Also as well, you don't really need to like uh, panic with the gas because even if you don't get to the extra points, it always spawns. So since it's spawned in the middle, it will spawn a last X4 point right in this corner. So this guy's running around with a shotgun. I can't wait to run around with shotguns. Can't wait. You're coming to an extra point, unless if they patched it, because I haven't really experienced it since the update, really. But if you're coming to an extra point, and then the chopper arrives, but the timer, when the, time, when the chopper arrives and there's a timer saying, but you've got like 30 seconds to jump on the chopper, if that timer doesn't appear, it's glitched, so just jump off the chopper because the game's not going to explore you. And don't, um, if you've got a ghost device, don't throw one on the chopper when it's flying off because if someone jumps, they will get tackled. Yeah, if anyone jumps, it will teleport them out of the chopper. Because you don't want to do that. <laughs> Ripper. He's only saying, "Oh no," because with the with the finger rifle, while well, the finger pistol, the start one, I only got two hundred and some kills, didn't I? 